sim control and ready to uh, go to ground. Thank you. Well, Jim, it looks like the GPS uh, residuals down. They uh, ought to be calling us here any minute. Yeah, I agree. It's looking pretty good. Probably just waiting on C-band tracking. Discovery, take GPS. Copy, take GPS. All right, looks like it took. Yep. Well, Jim, you ready to get some lunch? That was a great run. Yeah, I agree. Let's do it. All right. And we can find that new restaurant. The Global Positioning System, GPS. Designed and developed in the mid-1970s by the U.S. military, this space program is now a spin-off technology benefiting daily life here on Earth. It navigates us in our cars. 5.2 miles, then turn right on Avenue B. Guides hikers in the woods, and GPS-equipped cell phones help locate people in emergencies. I remember when you used to have to know where you were going. Remember that? <laughs> Just like in the space shuttle. Yeah. Somebody else tells us where to go. It's even used by financial institutions to timestamp transactions, like the swipe of a credit card or a cash withdrawal from an ATM. Uh, Turn right on Space Center Boulevard. Shriver Air Force Base, home of the 50th Space Wing and the 2nd Space Operations Squadron, the Air Force Space Command Unit, operates and maintains the global positioning system. GPS satellites are launched into space and settle into one of six circular orbital planes at 11,000 miles above the Earth. Powered by solar energy, each satellite circles the planet twice a day. We ensure they are functioning properly and in their correct orbits. When needed, onboard batteries power small thrusters to reposition each satellite and keep it running while in the Earth's shadow. <laughs> I think this thing tracks your speed. It does. That's, that's convenient. GPS signals are so accurate Time can be figured to less than a millionth of a second, velocity to a fraction of a mile per hour, and location to within several feet. Remember when we used to have to go see the base commander if you got a speeding ticket? Yeah. Your GPS unit picks up a low power radio signal from any GPS satellite in a clear line of sight. By measuring how long it takes for that signal to arrive, the GPS receiver calculates the satellite's distance. By triangulating such measurements from three different GPS satellites, your GPS receiver can establish your two-dimensional position on the ground. If four or more satellites are in sight, a three-dimensional position and time can be plotted and include additional travel information such as altitude, direction, speed, and distance to your destination. For an effective, fully functional GPS that works all over the world, at least 24 operational satellites are needed, and we now have about 30 operating satellites in our constellation. As one of the world's leading users of GPS, NASA has many ongoing GPS research and development programs that have long contributed to the system's improvement and refinement. In 1985, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, began developing software to more accurately determine satellite orbits. This led to the development of the Precision GPS software system. It uses special GPS algorithms and the internet to enable real-time positioning anywhere in the world with unprecedented accuracy. The Precision GPS software system allows scientists to measure and anticipate major global events such as El Nino, potentially averting billions of dollars in damage and saving lives. This experience led JPL to develop the global differential GPS known as GDGPS. This is a network of over 100 reference stations around the world that are designed to monitor the GPS signals and significantly improve their accuracy. GDGPS has been used to provide high accuracy real-time onboard positioning for testing and calibration of NASA's Airborne Synthetic Aperture Radar, AirSAR, mission, where a DC-8 flying laboratory was used to test new radar systems for weather imaging in difficult areas. 
Similarly, GDGPS enables an aircraft to fly multiple passes on a predetermined path with great precision. On the UAV SAR mission, for example, an unpiloted area vehicle equipped with the synthetic aperture radar can detect changes along the route and alert scientists studying earthquakes, volcanoes, and other dynamic phenomena. These tests are conducted on NASA's Gulfstream 3 aircraft, modified and instrumented by NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center as a test bed for a variety of flight research experiments. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center's Search and Rescue Mission Office has developed the Proof of Concept Distress Alerting Satellite System, or DAS. DAS is designed to carry search and rescue instruments on GPS platforms to relay distress signals from aviators, mariners, and outdoorsmen in distress. This system will improve upon and replace the existing satellite-aided search and rescue system, which has assisted in the rescue of more than 28,000 people. They flew right to my position. That diver came down in there. The uh, satellite system works. The, the Coast Guard, those guys are all heroes. GPS improves life not only here on Earth, but also in orbit, as it continues to help lead the way in space-based navigation. GPS has proven to be integral to the success of the space shuttle program. They're heading toward the northeast. They'll soon be crossing the uh, western edge of Mexico and crossing out over uh, parts of New Mexico and Texas. GPS supports low Earth orbit missions to the International Space Station, such as the rendezvous of the European Space Agency's Jules Verne spacecraft in 2008. The spacecraft pair, known as GRACE, or Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, are each equipped with GPS receivers developed at JPL that provide a precise orbit when making climate and gravity field measurements, from the ice caps to the oceans to the motion of mass during earthquakes. GRACE has provided the data to build the foundation for our understanding of the changing of our Earth's gravity and climate system. By measuring the changes in mass around the Earth, GRACE provides precise, timely data that helps scientists predict and better understand the future of our environment. GPS, Earth science, and space missions all work hand in hand. For instance, scientists have been sending laser pulses from ground stations to satellites to obtain high-precision measurements. These measurements are used, in turn, for Earth science applications to understand the movement of Earth's atmosphere, crust, and internal dynamics, all the way to the Earth's core. This helps to maintain and update the models and reference frame used by GPS. Thus, GPS helps to improve science, and in turn, science helps to improve GPS. Then turn left on Second Street. Turn left. left on Second Street. Well, I'm, not, right. I'm not an expert it. on GPSs, but well, it looks like Jim, we've uh, mm -hmm. we've arrived. Yeah, this place looks incredibly good. Well, that was some of the best driving I've ever seen, Bob. Uh, not quite as good as your flying of the space shuttle, but uh, I try to do my best. So the next time you use your credit card, fly in a plane, or find a new restaurant after shuttle training, remember how the Air Force and NASA have made GPS one of the world's most successful space-based spin-offs with down-to-earth benefits for everyone.